This is super cold. It is. Imagine if we're having this kind of growth here locally. Imagine what's going in people's houses. Now we have six people for the six. This is something. How many of you are full time here? <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, three and a half of them. That's enough. Guys, bad. thank you. Roger, you're an inspiration. Yeah, you're look gathering what he's done the masses. In a short yeah. Of time. All right. God bless. Oh, thanks, guys. The jock snap. See you later, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number six, this is Mount Thor. It's not for the faint of heart. It's the world's largest vertical drop. So how tall is it? Well, it's so tall that if you were to fall off the edge of the cliff, you'd have almost 30 full seconds of free falling oh. until you hit the ground below. Wow, that's a long time. It's located inside Ayuatuck National Park in Canada, which means uh, the place that never melts, that's the translation. There are some hiking routes near Mount Thor, but frigid conditions and poor access make the area difficult to explore. Ah, that hasn't nuts. stopped people from climbing Mount Thor. Back in 1985, it took a team 33 days wow. to climb it. That's hmm. fun. All right, number five, sponges are gross. But check out the Rescue Forever sponge. It's designed to last forever. It has a special outer layer that's designed especially for knives and other sharp objects so you can scrub them without ripping the sponge apart. It's got spandex and other materials inside which make it ultra absorbent when holding on to soapy water. And it's antimicrobial. So it will not get filled with all the nasty bacteria that a usual sponge does. Of course, you're encouraged to clean it every time you use it and should be available later this year for under 10 bucks. Look at that. All right, number four, there are several signs that your partner might be cheating on you with a work colleague. This is according to a relationship expert. And here are some of the signs. If you're no longer invited to work social events or get togethers, your partner keeps coming home later and later. Well, no spouses of any of us have anything that, to worry about yeah. there. <laughs> if there's a change in their appearance, if you notice a sudden enthusiasm Again. for work, <laughs> all same, but it wasn't there before. Or if they mention a coworker a lot or not at all. Ah. Uh, and if they're suddenly protective of their phone or other devices, red flags, don't blame us, blame Toby Ingham. He is a psychotherapist in the UK and this mm. is his list. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Number three, check out this rare 1971 Porsche 914. It's going up for auction in June in honor of the car maker's 75th anniversary. This one is rare because it's a 9146. Sure, Ooh. yeah. There are only 23 of them made. This one's been restored to its original condition with a signature Gemini blue paint job and black leather interior. It's expected to bring in $550,000. For information, check out Broad Arrow Auctions. All right. Number two, uh, we're looking at some of the most unusual perfume scents for 2023. Uh, they're being used in some high-end fragrances. DiptyQ's new perfume, Le Pepire, uh, has an initial ar aroma of rice and sesame to evoke the scent of rice paper. Uh, but those are just the opening notes. Uh, once you spray it on, you'll be met with other scents, including golden mimosa and a touch of musk. By far's daydream of scotch is supposed to remind you of child of your childhood. Hopscotch. Hopscotch, not That's scotch. Good. I don't oh, know about your childhood. I didn't see the hop on that at all. Yeah, the scotch yeah. would make more sense for me. It's got notes of Play-Doh. <clears throat> uh, vacation eau de toilette uh, smells like <laughs> pool toys and swimsuit lycra. Uh, the point is to uh, create a very specific sense uh, of memories that will transport you and people back to exotic places. Mm. Like that exotic public swimming pool. Yeah, like yeah. uh, <laughs> pool suits. Mm. All, right. All right, number one already. This ad for United Airlines had the internet baffled for a bit. It said, fly to more than 200 places in the U.S. where you can wear pants outside. The initial response on Twitter was uh, confusion, obviously. Of course, you can wear pants outside in America. Uh, so a PR person from United Airlines tried to explain it, uh, which automatically means it's a bad ad if you have to yeah. explain it. Uh, turns out this ad has been running in Britain, 
what Americans call pants, the Brits call underwear. Oh. So if the ad is trying to bring more travelers to the United States, it makes no sense. Uh, walking around in your underwear could get you arrested. I don't even understand. I know, I don't either. So I just read the story, Robin. You could wear your underwear outside this. in Britain. Yeah. yeah, again, you're asking the wrong guy. Yeah. Maybe they think we Maybe. don't care about people wearing their underwear outside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but I still don't understand right. why they'd want to wear underwear outside. Yeah. I don't get it. Just stay on your own side of the pond. Let's just, <laughs> that's one way to solve it. I thought the director giving us the hook with yeah. playoff yeah. music. Yeah, they're like, they're like no, we're done with you. Let's go. Let's we need to go. do more weather. <laughs> yeah. Let's get on it. So we, we miss about. a weather hit. Yeah. God oh, forbid. Man.